Hi everyone, this is Etho. Uh, we got another episode here today. Uh, the new Vita 1.6 patch came out, and we're already at the 1.6.4 patch. And so, uh, this episode we're going to dedicate to talking about it and its changes and features. Um, let's see, where to begin? I don't know if I'm really going to refer to this as a patch because, in, for me anyways, it has broken more things than it's fixed, so it's not really beneficial to me. But, uh, well, as you can see, the passive mob system is still working. Maybe not as well as it was before. Um, basically, the advantage of having mobs spawn near torches is gone. They spawn uh, evenly at night. But since I have removed most of the grass within the area, it still works for me, is what I found. And there's still some mobs spawning on my passive mob pads up there, which is good. Um, I had to leave the region and come back to get it working again though, so I think that's still a feature or bug or whatever. So yeah, I have it on peaceful right now just for this video. Uh, let's turn it back to hard. The hostile mob system is also working still, which is good. You can see they're spawning down there, hopefully. The four-way mob evader still works, but I have heard from people that uh, it no longer works for spiders, that they get stuck in it now. I haven't confirmed this, but uh, that's just the rumor that's going around, which is probably true, since uh, water behavior has changed drastically yet again. But you can see they're going up, which is good. Very glad that didn't break. I'm not going to talk about everything that changed with this patch. If you want a good coverage of what happened, I'm going to link a statics overview of the patch in my uh, description. You can check it out. Uh, I'm mainly going to talk about which of my designs have broken. And I'll also talk about the new features later in this episode. And on a positive note, hopefully. Yeah, that's still working. Uh, the killing mechanism is still working. I just heard my Zelda tune, so I guess that's still working. I didn't know that. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, let's see, how do I get up? Something that isn't working anymore is the water sensors. I'm officially locked out of my control room. I replaced the, the blocks that were here with the new trap doors. Which would have been nice if this actually was working. I think I can get this working again though. Um, actually, I'm going to stop the video now and try something. If it works... I'll try it on one of them, and if it works, I'll show you what I did on the second one. Alright, good news. Uh, the idea I had, it worked. So I'll be able to fix these. The only problem is it reverses the doors, or it reverses the signal. So that might be an issue. Um, I'm just going to grab some more water. Uh, 
Uh, everything out here seems to be fine. My cactus farm and I believe my tree farm is okay. I haven't tried harvesting any trees yet though. I am having issues with my game crashing frequently when I go full screen still. That was before this patch, but this patch didn't fix that for me. So a lot of times when I press F11 to go full screen, uh, the game crashes, which sucks. So what I have done, very simple, I've added another water block, another water source in the sensor. So I'm going to do the same thing for this one. It's kind of hard to do. So diagonally of where the water stream goes down normally, I'm going to put another water source here. And I have to be very careful not to leak water and destroy all my redstone wiring and destroy the boat. Which is a bit of a challenge, especially in this tight area. So when I'm placing this water block, I have to be very careful not to click this boat, so I'm going to aim for the very corner, and I'm going to place the glass, and it's fixed. That's all I had to do. So the way the new water works, if a boat touches a water source block, it will float up very slowly. Um, if it touches like a, a water stream that's flowing downward like you see in front of you here, the boat will sink. If the boat is in a water source block and a stream that's flowing downward like the boat is here, the stream that is flowing downward overpowers the buoyancy from the water source block. So even though this block here is pushing it up and this one's pushing it down the block that's pushing it down is more powerful so it stays down is what I have found so far so with this in mind if I remove the water above uh, this water source block here will cause the boat to float and go off the pressure plate so it's reversed from what it was before which is kind of weird. Going to connect those two again. And let's test it out. <clears throat> Doors are still closed. There we go. takes a little bit longer for it to activate as well because the boat rises slower or to deactivate uh huh so before uh, when I had two water these two water sources here the door was open but now it's closed so it's reversed not a big deal and I can fix that by inverting the redstone signal if I want. Let's get rid of that. Place our trap door back. There. So that's one thing fixed. Uh, let's see what else. Let's take a stroll. Many, many bugs were fixed in this uh, patch, which is good. Glad to see that, because there's a lot of annoying bugs in this game. Unfortunately, some of those bugs were actually what I consider features, which are now gone. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to point out. I almost think the game is a little bit laggier now, I'm not sure though. 
Over here is the spider separator I had. And they were being killed by lava. Uh, using the southwest corner glitch. That no longer works. So. Uh, this will still drown the spiders. What I have here. But the lava won't do anything. Because it won't hurt them through the through the corners anymore. So that kind of sucks. But at the moment I don't even have spiders uh, coming up. So it's not not a huge issue. Pretty sure all this stuff works the same. Although that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, you know why? I have this opened. I think. I'm not sure how that chicken got down there. I'll have to watch this video again after. Um. Oh yeah, let's go down to the minecarts. I heard... When I heard that uh, the old booster glitch with minecarts was going to be fixed, I really didn't care. Because I didn't think it was going to affect me. But uh, then I was like, oh yeah, I'm actually using that with uh, this thing. <laughs> I completely forgot. So uh, my whole minecart system is busted. The control room is pointless because it was supposed to control this minecart system. So, yeah. I'll probably uh, f fix this by uh, using one of Pearl Squirrel's minecart solutions. I'll link uh, that in the description as well. I had to rush down here. I used to have lava in this column here. I had to rush down here and remove it as soon as I patched my game. Because I have the wooden half slabs here, which used to not burn, but now they do with this new patch. So, if I didn't catch that quick, there was a good chance my storage room would have burnt down. I believe. Oh, <laughs> hey. Oh, darn. Did you guys see that? I guess the lever's still floating. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. It is fixed. Um, let's go down to the Eats Road. It seems every patch that's released, the Eats Road takes another hit, and it has taken its worst hit yet. Okay, maybe before we go to the Eats Road, I should explain something. Uh, this new faucet sprinkler or sprinkler system I have installed in my house. You see how it's raining right now? Ah. The boat is floating. How does that work? Uh well. If I push this boat into the water stream that's flowing down, there's only one source block and it's at the top there. And the rest of this is a downward flowing water stream. And yet, the boat rises in it. Very, very slowly. But it does. That's the new nerfed uh, water elevators, the new speed of them. Very, very slow. But with our water sensor, it doesn't work that way, does it? Why? Well, if there is air around the water stream blocks, it seems to make the boat rise. But I believe, I haven't tried this yet, if there is solid blocks next to this water stream, it won't rise. If my understanding is correct. Like I said, I haven't tried this. And I am correct. So the boat isn't rising because there is solid blocks 
next to this water. If you remove one, still not rising for some reason. That's kind of strange. Still not rising. There we go. Yes, that is definitely a uh, less buddy looking notch. Good job on this fix. I don't know why he wasted his time doing this. So yeah, that's the new principle with the boats. Um, maybe before we go down to Eats, let's uh, test out the new minecarts too. Apparently these power rails give you a better boost. I haven't seen it for myself yet, except through Static's video I watched. I think they were a lot faster. Oh yeah, that's fast, that's fast, that's too fast. I can't even catch it. Here it comes. Uh, let's try this again. Let's hop in it this time. Huh. No, that looks about the same speed to me. Maybe the momentum just lasts longer. It's probably what it is. Okay. Now let's go down to Eats. Eats is very broken by this patch. Uh, I have been down here though fixing it little by little. I've been coming up with ways to fix it. Going through lots of boats. Okay. First thing, the easy loader was broken. I'll show you what it was doing. This is how I had my easy loader. Normally when you place the boat in the center, it aligns it properly. But after the patch, it just explodes into this wall. I almost think boats travel faster in water now from what I've seen, and I think that might be why that's happening. But I'm not entirely sure why or what has changed. Thankfully I have come up with a new easy loader using this new pattern. Let's just go get our stuff down here. So I'm glad there's uh, other ways of doing it. I've heard other people's easy loaders are working too so they probably have them set up slightly different than I had mine here. But uh, this method's working for me place it in the center still. Source blocks over here. And it gets aligned properly, which is great. And now, due to uh, only having source blocks up here, I only had two before. The boats wouldn't rise, but I have changed that. This water elevator is solid source blocks now. So that's why the boat was able to come up. It just takes a lot longer now for it to get up. Major lake. Wow. Yeah, so these are all solid uh, water source blocks. I have the sign here to hold the water in place. With this new easy loader, it seems to align them properly so they get snug like they are supposed to here. Now, the problem is though, the Eats Road, at least my design here, is broken. It works if you're not in the boats. Uh, If you try to hop into a boat, like you normally do, uh, something really bad happens. The 
boat goes backwards for a second, it breaks, and if it's hollow underneath, you fall through the ground. So that is garbage. The boat actually goes backwards for a second when you hop into it, for some strange reason. Definitely seems uh, more bugged to me. I had to make one other change here uh, before I had a downward water stream here well with the whole elevator I can't put a solid source block here because the water will pour out and wash away my redstone wiring so instead I have a sign there to hold the water in place and it seems to work just fine So, yeah. Now, if you try to ho hop into a boat while it's already moving, it breaks. Uh, the old Eats Road did that too, I'm pretty sure, most of the time. So, yeah, this current road design does not work. I have an idea on how to make a working one. But it involves more work, which sucks. And with the new improvements with the minecarts, uh, you're pretty much better off just using minecarts from now on. In all honesty. You were before too, really. It's just if you want uh, something different in your world, then, you, then Eats Road is a good choice, because it's pretty cool, in my opinion. And this is another water elevator with the water source box at the top and none throughout so that's why the boats boats are getting stuck here so that's another major kick in the shins for eats one of the best features of it before was you could go up and down pretty much instantly using water elevators and now uh, that feature has been removed from the game. So, yeah. But if you want to... Uh, boat dispensers still work, it's just the road itself. You can't really ride with this current design. So I'm going to do some more experiments with it and I'll hopefully release tutorials like I keep promising except with the new fixes. Uh, I think that's all I wanted to talk about it for Eats. I think I've covered the whole world now. It's a pretty small world. Uh, the barn's still working. It's still not done though. Oh yeah, uh, the GL Nether mod still works, of course even with the new patch. Just to clarify one thing guys, I wanted you to figure out that it was a trick. Uh, I wanted to mislead you for the first few minutes and then keep giving you more and more hints until you finally realized uh, what was going on was my plan and that's exactly how it worked out so I'm happy about that because uh, people still are telling me what those uh, blue shiny rocks are for every day and that's getting annoying because I didn't clarify that it was a joke so I don't want people telling me or talking to me about mods constantly so that's why I wanted to reveal that that was a joke if I really wanted to mislead you I definitely could I'm pretty sure Okay, so I think I covered all the negative and broken things about the patch. So let's try to end this episode on a positive high note, if we can. Uh, let's go to the nether. Let's look at some of the new features of this patch. 
one thing I saw in Docium77's video about the patch, he tried to sleep in a bed in the nether. I thought this was pretty funny. I want to see if it works for me too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Notch has a pretty good sense of humor. That's pretty cool. Exploding beds in the nether. So nether support has been added in multiplayer apparently. Don't know if that's true or not. I haven't checked it out for myself. But that's uh, cool. And apparently some other fixes like... Uh, Network packets get compressed more, so that's good. It'll be less lag. That's cool. That's the first time I went through the portal since I built this thing. I didn't know it brought me back out through that one. Um. Wow, did I, I got 62 netherrack from that explosion. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to be abusing exploding beds for as long as they last. That's a really good way to go mining in the nether. <laughs> uh, there's a new bug in the game. Every time you start your world, you seem to lose half a heart. Oh, wait, no, no. I'm, I'm done talking about the problems. We're on to the positive. Sorry. I forgot. Yeah, so, nether support in multiplayer, that's cool. Uh, lots of bug fixes, like, you can, I think, yeah, when a player shoots their arrows and stuff in multiplayer, it looks a lot less glitchy. Uh, things like doors and that play sounds in multiplayer. When they open and close, that's cool. You can craft maps now. Not a very useful feature for single player in my opinion, but that would be cool in multiplayer if you could uh, hand out maps to people of the world. That's how you craft it. This is the first one I'm making. Select it. And my game lags like crazy. There we go. Wow, that really causes a bit of lag. So if you look down towards the ground, you can see the map. That's how it works. Uh, don't know if you can zoom in or anything. And there might be a way of naming them too, but I have no idea how. That's cool. Be cool in multiplayer. Or if uh, people make challenge maps and stuff, I could see maps being useful. It's a very cool, uh, from a programming perspective, a very cool feature. Um, got the trap doors. Oops. Make them like that. They can be controlled with redstone, as far as I know. This is my absolute favorite part of this patch, these trap doors. I've wanted something like this for a long time. It's basically my minecart gate compressed into a single block. Except even better. Yeah, They're controllable by redstone. Well, that's strange it didn't uh, go back down when I removed the torch. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. Lever. And I don't have any buttons on me, otherwise I would try that. Ok, 
Okay, that makes it close. A little bit strange. Okay, what I like most about these doors uh, is they open upward. I, I was sure they were going to make them open downward, and if they did that, they would be a lot less useful in my opinion. And here's why. So if they open upward, the hinge doesn't get in the way. Because uh, now when I open this, uh, the door will be inside of me, so I'll fall straight through it. That means you can drop uh, a one by one block, like you can drop a cow through that, or any other mob will fall through this hatch thing. Very cool, very useful for mob systems. Among other things, I see lots of uh, possible uses for this new uh, door. Doors are one of my favorite things in this game, so to have another type is very cool. Um, I'm going to set one other thing up here, another cool use of them. Alright, here's another cool thing about these new uh, hatches, or trapdoors. Uh, you can use them as uh, item drop junctions or gates. Right now they're collecting there. If I was to open this, they would fall down. Again, that's pretty much what I was doing with my minecart gates, except this is much better. And so if I wanted it to fall down this one instead, have it open and they fall down there instead of going to this one so that's really cool if they're on top they fall down even if they're above the hinge that's great mobs will fall down I'm pretty sure if you have a minecart on uh, they'll fall down boats they'll fall through players uh, Probably TNT. I would like to try sand, actually. I don't think the sand will fall through. Oops. Hmm. Yeah, it just floats on top. Yeah, I like these things though. They're very cool. Favorite part of the patch, by far. Yeah, there's just so many things you can do with these. Yep, pretty cool. I like those a lot. Uh, some other things. There's tall grass in the game now. I'd show it to you if I saw any, but I have no grass around, so... Yeah. Apparently mushrooms spread. Very slowly. These two were here before, and no new ones have shown up. And I think I... Well, I didn't cover everything, but I covered all I wanted to. They're just so cool. Okay. Yeah, lots of stuff broken. I'll fix it. I feel really bad for Doc M, though. He, his whole world got messed up, so... Uh, show him your love, guys. And make sure you watch his uh, New World tour that he's going to be giving. Because he's a cool guy. He has cool s 
designs and stuff, and I'm sure his new world's going to be awesome as well. Alright, and that's it for me. Thank you for watching, if you did, and goodbye.